Note, the video shown depicts a different model of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to this notebook. Before you begin, remove the battery, bottom door, optical drive, and fan. On the bottom of the notebook, remove the 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw identified with a keyboard icon that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Remove the two 7mm T8 Torx screws identified with a keyboard icon that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Remove the 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw in the fan cradle that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw below the fan cradle that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel. Lift the rear edge of the keyboard and slide the keyboard toward the rear of the notebook until the tabs on the front of the keyboard are free from their respective slots in the top cover. Flip the keyboard toward the front of the notebook and rest it face down. Gently lift the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector and remove the ribbon cable. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard from the base enclosure. Place the keyboard face down on the palm rest of the notebook. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Push the locking bar down to secure the keyboard cable in the ZIF connector. Flip the keyboard toward the center of the notebook and insert the tabs on the front of the keyboard into the slots on the top cover. Lower the keyboard into position and press along the edges of the keyboard to secure it to the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the 3mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw below the fan cradle that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Replace the 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw into the fan cradle that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure. Replace the two 7mm T8 Torx screws identified with the keyboard icon that secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Replace the 2mm P1 Phillips broadhead screw identified with a keyboard icon that secures the keyboard to the base enclosure.